So Piedmont schools are the number one reason why people tell me they want to live here. Elise Marks is an English teacher and the APT president. Hi, Elise. Hi. Well, so PUSD was recently rated the 25th best public school district in California. Why do you think we consistently rank so high. Right, we're in this small, close-knit community uh, that really revolves around the schools. Like everybody cares about education. You've got a really highly educated uh, group of parents really engaged with their kids. There, there's, there's this real emphasis on education matters. How has this school year been going so far? Very good, it feels so good to be back. We're still kind of recovering from COVID and that was hard. That was incredibly hard to be away for a year trying to talk to each other on computer screens. And I think we're starting to kind of feel like, hey, maybe we're back to normal. What do you think are some of the district's strengths and challenges right now? The parents care, I mean, the administration cares, like everybody's on the same team and we really want uh, good things to happen. Um, the biggest challenges, uh, I, I think the biggest is, you know, union president, I'm worried all the time about how are we going to attract the best staff and keep the best staff, especially as a lot of us are getting older uh, and, and heading towards retirement. Um, can we afford to pay teachers what they need and support staff what they need to afford to literally live here? So pay is obvious. What else can Piedmont do to retain and attract teachers? Um, well, that, that really, pay is the single biggest thing. I mean, literally, people are saying, I can't, uh, I can't live here or I can't afford to have a child or ha have a second child, but if I move to Oregon, if I move somewhere else, I, I could. And our paraeducators, you know, we hear terrible things. They're, they're going to food banks. They can't afford their groceries. They're sleeping in their cars. And this is really, and I've been saying this in public over and over again, we're in, we're in a crisis. The Giving Campaign recently mm -hmm. launched with the goal of raising three and a half million dollars. How is that money used? Does that go to teacher salaries at all? It doesn't go directly to raises and things like that. Now, the district could not function without that money. That is, that's incredibly important. Um, uh, our tax base just isn't high enough to cover the things that we want to do. So PEF uh, enables things like engineering classes, music, art, I mean, things that are so, so important to education that there's no way we could pay just out of our tax base or even with the parcel tax. Is there anything else that the community can do to help with this problem? Making more housing available, especially for our younger teachers. Uh, if there are ways to, if people are building ADUs, if there are, you know, uh, apartments, places like that, um, that we could help uh, our younger staff in particular to live, that would, that would definitely be appealing. Elise Marks, thanks for talking to me. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.